inspired to write Woman Most Wild really from the work that I've done over the years with women who didn't necessarily call themselves witches um, and maybe were even a little bit afraid of, of what that word meant. Um, but, but when they would do practices such as circle together and share or cast a circle or you know burn certain herbs, uh, and these things that we kind of think of as a little bit more mystical, they would really have this sense of homecoming. And um, when, when they would hold a wand, they, they would have this, this kind of sense like, oh, I've done this before, even though they hadn't done it before uh, in this life anyway. So um, really, uh, I wrote Woman Most Wild uh, for them, for, for, for any woman who really has this, this inner sense of magic and, um, and kind of wants to know what to do with it. And uh, in my work, I would have women who would come to me that would feel this uh, amazing magic rising within them, but not necessarily know what to do with it and kind of look for these very practical answers to a practice that resists all practicality. So Woman Most Wild was my answer to that question, that question of, I do have this sense of, of wild womanhood, and now what do I do with that? Wild spirituality is uh, this really kind of grassroots movement where we need to dismantle this idea that wild is um, something that needs to be broken or, or, or something that's out of control. We think of the, the wild child as someone that needs to be calmed or change, that there, there's something inherently wrong with, with all things wild. When really, wild means at home in nature. To be wild is to be at home in your body and with the senses. And wild spirituality is to not only be at home in your body and, and with your emotions and your senses, but also to know those things as divine. A witch is really anyone who says they're a witch and means it with their whole heart and their whole soul. Um, one of the bigger problems in our society, I believe, is that people don't get to be who they say they are, who they know in their bones they are. And uh, if a woman comes to me and says that she's a witch, I don't ask, um, oh, what tradition do you subscribe to? Or, uh, who gave you that name? What high priestess gave you that name? Because that's not the real question. The question is, is um, how have you claimed that name for yourself? What prompted you to claim that name for yourself? It is not something that can be externally given. It is something that arises internally and is then claimed. What I hope readers will take away most from Woman Most Wild is this sense of the holy feminine as rising. This sense of the, the witch um, and the wild woman archetype emerging and affecting the global collective in a very positive way. To claim the name which is a feminist act, which is our against oppression, which is stand up for the environment. And so it is very much a, an act of global healing to claim the name which. And so what I hope readers will take away most is the, a sense of the value of the holy feminine and the feminine as divine and living and dancing within all beings regardless of gender.